It's just time So is it wrong to dance this life? Education has been deemed a right, but the argument as to whether it should be funded equitably or equally is still up for debate. Beneficiaries of general education argue that further funding special education will take away money from standard classrooms because both sectors of education pull resources from the same pot, which is true. However, providing additional resources now will be beneficial to all parties in the long term. Every year in Arizona, over 10,000 students who qualify for special education drop out of school because they are not properly supported. As a result, over 55% of these students will end up in jail at some point in their lives. The annual cost to care for an inmate in Pima County is about $21,000 annually, where supporting a student in special education here only amounts to about $6,000 a year. If we choose to break the cycle and allocate funds to special education programs right now, then years down the road, this will prevent thousands of individuals with disabilities from getting incarcerated and free up millions of dollars that can be reinvested into programs for all students. For many decades, the decision whether to fund special education or not was an ethical versus legal issue until the court case Andrew F. versus Douglas County School District settled that debate for good. This court decision affirmed that each individualized education program must be reasonably calculated to enable each child to make progress appropriate for their child's circumstances. This prevented any teachers from passing one student on to the next grade without proper justification. This is a great idea in theory, but without proper funding and resources, it is impossible to implement because a lot of these individualized education programs require ample resources and additional personnel to execute. For some students in special education programs, the skills they develop allow them to be independent and hold jobs like Paul. Paul has Down syndrome and because of his perseverance and support in a classroom setting, he has been able to develop the skills to become primarily independent. Of course, each and every case is different, but everyone should be given the same chance to succeed. How can you make a difference? It's easy. Vote. 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 It's one of the easiest ways to make a change. Get knowledgeable about the facts, interact and get feedback from students in our schools, understand each law, proposition, and candidate running for office at the local level in order to make the most educated and informed decision at the polls. It's up to you to stand up and make a change for equitable education for all.